How's it going, everyone? Today we got the Kabloom as our weapon of choice for this set of legendary crafting rolls. We have 11 in our inventory. We're rolling 10 per the video, and the 11th would be the bonus roll. Uh, the Kabloom is a reward from one of the new events that was added in the recent update. It is an anti-armor explosive reload speed pump action shoddy. We're looking to see what we can get. The good thing about these newer weapons is that they come with these unique skins and then you're actually able to re-roll them into something else. Um, this isn't something that we had in previous updates when we got renamed uh, items, or I should say named items, we weren't able to re-roll them, so taking advantage, I have also re-rolled some Ogwa Gauntlets and the Elder's Mark I was able to get a quad out of, and I do have those videos on my channel if you're interested in checking them out, but for today's video, let's get to rolling. We have 10 with the plus one for the bonus. Let's see what we get. for our first roll. Let's see if this sets the tone for the rest of the rolls. We have an Aristocrats Explosive. Okay, good way to start. Uh, the Stealth Field, still have to do some research on that. I keep rolling Explosive and Stealth Field. All right, so I'm gonna have to keep going back and forth. Hopefully they stay where they are as I re-roll them, considering they're all just named the Kabloom. Uh, Stalker's weapon speed, definitely looking for a little better, and I'm trying to do my best to be open-minded to a lot of different roles and not just be, it's gotta be bloodied or nothing else, <laughs> never mind, we got bloodied as I said that. Um, chance to hit targets, so the VAT's accuracy and then the stealth field, maybe worth checking out. Uh, me personally, I don't really use shotguns all that much, so... This will be something where if I am able to get something useful, I'll test it out and see what we can do with it. And then anything else, basically I'll hang on to, see if people in the community are looking for them. Maybe do some giveaways if we get something really good. And then for some of the conversation starters, maybe I'll toss that in my vendor. So if you are on Xbox and you are interested in some of these, let me know in the comments. Maybe swing through the Twitch stream and see what we can do. So we have a troubleshooters here, nothing too crazy. Who knows, maybe we'll have to test this out in a silo, see if it's worth it or not. Keep these rolls going. Gorman's 50% chance to hit a target on VATS and the damage resist while reloading. No thank you. All right, so that should be our fifth one. Halfway. Juggernaut's explosive reload speed. Okay. Definitely a conversation started. There's a few people in the community that I know are messing with Juggernauts. I'm not sure if they use shotguns, but we'll have to find out. Alright, a few more to go. Vampire's weapon speed. I have to... Somebody needs to refresh my memory. Is weapon speed not useful? Is it on... The pump action? Is it the double barrel? I'm... I can't remember now. But the faster weapon speed, I don't know why it doesn't just say fire rate, but in any case, we'll have to test that out. Normally, vampires and faster fire rate is exactly what I want in weapons. This one, I actually don't know. Alright, so down to the last few. Another troubleshooters. Not as good as the last one. Mutant Slayers, Explosive, and the Weapon Break Slower. That's actually a really good combo that I like to see on certain things. If it's Explosive, it's, it's already going to be breaking either quickly or more rapidly because of the Explosive roll. The Weapon Breaking Slower is definitely a welcome sight. question is, can we get all those rolls onto just one weapon instead of piecemealed everywhere? So we're on to the last two. This would actually be the tenth roll, right before our bonus. Our last, <laughs> of course it's a Hunters and it's Bash. I feel like for those that have watched previous videos, you know how much of a fan I am of both Hunters and Bash. 
So when we're able to get them both on the same weapon, I'm ecstatic. So let's jump onto that bonus roll and see if that helps redeem. At least what we just rolled. Medics, explosive, and reduced weight. Reduced weight is another one that I like as a third roll. The explosive is a welcome sight. Me personally, I don't mess with medics. I'd rather use vampires. Uh, maybe down the road, I'll mess with other things. Medics, uh, let's say larger um, clips on a weapon, like an SMG. Maybe if I was to re-roll an Elder's Mark. Actually, no. That, well, you can get the larger drum, so it doesn't have to be a quad. But my thinking would be if I want to test out medics I want something that I can keep procking over and over again and I just wish the area of effect would be a little larger so you could heal your teammates but I think it's the same kind of radius as using a stim pack if you're healing yourself and also using the perk that allows you to heal those next to you in any case we'll have to do some sciencing some testing out to see if these things are worth it if you have any experience with these kind of rolls on similar shotguns or even the kabloom itself, let me know. If you have some rolls that you think are the optimal rolls, the best rolls, the god rolls to go for, definitely get the conversation started in the comments. Let us know. Uh, I'm probably not going to do another one of these videos, but I will continue to re-roll kablooms and other weapons randomly um, throughout the week in terms of these named weapons. For things like fixers, teslas, and handmaids, definitely more videos and rolls around the corner. So keep an eye out for that. But in terms of today's video, taking a quick look at some of the rolls I got, I'm happy to see explosive on a few different things. I'm going to have to do some testing out just to see. And then even the aristocrats explosive might be the one we have to test out we might have to stock up almost be at cap cap and see what this can do compared to some of these others but definitely useful in terms of seeing what i might be able to test out i feel like weapons like this i'm kind of honing in the specific roles that i'm personally looking for but for those that have again messed with weapons like this let me know we'll see if we make a build dedicated to shotguns but in terms of future rolls, we will be rolling some more weapons soon. We just basically got to the halfway mark of fixer rolls. In 2023, the goal is to roll 100 fixers, and with my recent upload, those were rolls 41 to 50. And I'm excited to see what else I'm able to get, considering that was a pretty good video. That set of rolls actually might have been... Of the better ones I've rolled this year so if you haven't seen that you might want to find out what I got exactly I'm gonna be doing some more goodies weapon giveaways and other things on the twitch channel so definitely come through if you're on Xbox and interested in finding out more keep an eye out for more uploads videos new goodies the Fallout 4 series that I will be uploading on Thursdays and jumping into stream as well on Thursdays over on twitch so keep an eye out for all those goodies sub to the channel if you are not and until the next time take it easy everyone